something here is going to change. And they, it's like, whoever the fuck... Again, it's none of my business, but you know what? It's like somebody here, too, just needs to fucking stop and, like, move on. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Like, this is, like, becoming an obsession. Um... Someone here wants them to change how they feel and they don't want to forgive somebody or it's like they want someone's forgiveness and they can't accept the challenges so that way they can learn or someone here needs to just accept adversity and, you know, move forward and have success knowing that obviously there is success ahead, but someone here is getting impatient. Somebody, it's like they need to be more grateful because they're stunning their own fucking growth pretty much. And it's like, this is over. Death is here. Mm -hmm. Somebody here too was like happy when somebody wasn't growing and something was ending out for another person. Like, this is fucking sad. And it's like someone here, this is over. This is over. Somebody here is freeing themselves and they're happy. Like, they're happier now that the situation is over that, you know, and they're trusting you know, or it's like you need to trust and be courageous, okay, and just move on because this is a fail. Yeah. And someone here just can't accept it. It's, it's just ridiculous at this point. Yeah. I'm hoping that this isn't your energy, but if it is, you, you need to like really sell the fuck on, get a job, figure out what you like to do, start with the inner work, start healing yourself, um, regardless of whatever it is that you lost. Um, I just feel like someone here needs to snap the fuck out of it because somebody's already moved on. They've been trying to move on and you keep holding them back. And if this isn't you, it's somebody that you're attached to. But it, someone here is not taking accountability and they're, yeah, they're making life harder for themselves. Yeah, someone here trying to be sneaky and deceptive and they, you know, dishonest, disloyal. This is someone that likes to steal shit or they, they don't care how they get money. And now someone's at a crossroad. Like, they can't make a decision. The fuck? Or, I'm sorry, this is Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone here can't make a fucking decision. And it's like, well, well, like, you know, this is somebody too. Their money is coming in slow or your money is coming in slow because of that. Um... And if you're connected to somebody that is a karmic, if this isn't your energy, your money is going to be coming in slow. Their energy is going to be. Yeah. And someone here is trying to like. Yeah. If if this person, this person is if a demi masculine has cut somebody off, it's like whoever they're in a connection with, it's like they're they're trying to project onto their new person and it's just ridiculous yeah and they're they're spying you know pretty much trying obsessed stalking because somebody's in love with another person and they're they want them to be in love with them they love themselves now it's you know and it's like they feel like this is somebody that they're not loyal like this person that's moving on with somebody else they're not loyal to you or this person whatever take where it resonates and now it's like you know you or this person is having to get enlightenment going through a spiritual awakening okay somebody here too could have had to do jail time or whatever the case is and they weren't it's like somebody here is just stuck because they're not receiving wish fulfillment they're they're in a situation now and if somebody did something intentional um, in the past to keep somebody stuck to do jail time now you're going to do jail time or this person's going to do jail time um, for intentionally trying to slow somebody down now their relationships are going to be slowed down um, you know depending on who the karmic is in this situation and now somebody is like emotionally yeah like they want to they're all emotional they want somebody to um, express emotions to them or they want you know you want to express emotions to somebody or you're sorry or someone's very apologetic but I feel like whoever this person wants to be with, like somebody here was trying to get in their head so they wouldn't take a chance towards someone else. And you or this person knows that they love somebody else. 
or they love the person that they were having a child with or some shit like that yeah and another person is upset because their lifestyle is pretty much yeah they can't sleep because they're greedy and they're worried about what they look like and you know five of cups is here someone here is upset because they've been playing with shit that they don't know shit about like spell work this is also somebody who um cares a, a lot about what other people think somebody literally just created havoc and chaos to only end up with the same result that they were trying to avoid is kind of like what i'm getting any work advice for this person any work advice for this person fix yourself stop being depressed because you're broke stop being depressed because you're struggling between thoughts and finances And stop trying to end, like, if somebody, yeah. Another person, too, is, like, again, this doesn't have to be you, and I don't need you to reply to me later, okay, um, about the situation. But I'm just saying, whatever this is, it, yeah. You cannot keep a cycle open that's already closed. If... Somebody here is gone. They have no loyalty to you or vice versa. And it's like this situation is not going to be balanced out. This is over. Okay. God has already stepped in. Um, this is not something that is for you. You could be also getting really bad advice or have taken really bad advice from people to keep something open and it's just it's it's no god is shutting the door like that's it there is no possible marriage there is no possible commitment like with this person yeah someone here they want someone to juggle between them and another person like they're okay with it they're sad because somebody isn't juggling between them and another person and this is fucking over And someone here is like self-sabotaging as well. Binded to obsessions and addic addictions. Yeah. And this is a karmic. And somebody here does not want to talk to another person. Like they don't have any interest in communicating. Somebody here, yeah, they're not connecting either with a karmic is what I'm getting. Yeah. This is somebody that if they had some type of addictions, it was because they were not happy in a relationship and they were trying to disconnect either from you or this person. And this is, yeah. But there's justice here being served or about to be served for whoever the fuck is not doing malicious shit mm -hmm. someone here is just gonna have to deal with their karma because or they're just focused they need to focus on themselves really but yes somebody here is binded to toxic addictions and it yeah it was because of this karmic relationship or yeah and now they they don't want to talk to whoever yeah whoever the fuck they had these issues with in the past they don't they don't have any interest on in returning shit some of you just want to move on with their fucking life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. There, yeah. There is just... It's, somebody here needs to get over the fucking past and move the fuck on because they're being rejected. Uh, you intuitively like somebody here knows, knows what they need to do you are another person like, like knows what they need to do that you know you you rejected some kind of spiritual advice or your intuition because somebody here was just stubborn okay we'll just put it that way somebody here needs to start listening to their intuition because they're not going to have a new beginning 
Um, they're not going to go back to a karmic situation and celebrate with them or come together and party with them. Like, that's it. It's not their wish fulfillment. Like, that's not what they want out of life. You know, somebody here feels like that's, you know, another person's wish fulfillment. But again, they can't move forward um, with this karmic feminine here or vice versa. Take it where it resonates because they're only worried about this was a karmic soulmate and lesson. Okay. And somebody here was also trying to bind them with magic as well. And because of that, you or whoever was doing it. Yeah, your your money is going to be slowed down. Your relationships are pretty much ruined and you won't have clarity on situations. Um, pretty much the same shit that you were trying to bind another person um, to with spell work is now why somebody has become obsessed either with you or you're obsessed with another person. Yeah, is literally because somebody here was doing magic and it's returned. So... Uh, yeah like yeah someone here should have just cut another person off because this person they're confused they wanted someone to be confused about a betrayal somebody here too it's like they thought they would never know who betrayed them this empress here with queen of swords in reverse or i'm sorry king of swords in reverse they needed to cut this person off or you need to cut this person off this could be somebody who um has a lot of confusion or they were confused about who betrayed them or they wanted you to be blinded to some kind of betrayal here Someone here could have worked together a feminine energy with this King of Swords in reverse to betray an Empress who was another person's counterpart. And they were happy that somebody wasn't going to have a new beginning. Like, There's too many people in this story now. Someone here is standing on their power and they cut off communication with people after being stuck in a situation. And now they're having victory and success. And this is stressing out karmics. This is stressing people the fuck out because someone doesn't have emotions for another person and they can't emotionally manipulate or be sneaky anymore. And it's like somebody here too feels like this is their worst nightmare. This is someone who is trying to cause some type of drama as well. they're not gaining wish fulfillment it's being rejected anything else for Brie anything else for Brie what about for work Somebody here is impatient. They need not to rush into relationships. Someone's impatient because another person's not lonely and they freed themselves. And now it's like uh, someone cannot persevere out of a situation because they were just too codependent on another person's um, like love that doesn't love them or this isn't really love. Yeah, so it's like if somebody is having success, they're like sad about it and they can't accept it. Like they don't want to accept the fact that 
they kind of accept. I feel like they just, yeah, they cannot accept this. Not only that, but it's like somebody here needs to embrace and nourish their creative mind. Um, they can't accept the fact that somebody is just, this is hater vibes, bro. And they're worried. They're like, they, they know it. Like somebody here knows that someone's going to be successful or something and they're stressed out because shit's changing they want another person to have some type of empathy towards them you could be somebody who's really healthy and it's like they're just yeah Somebody here feels like they need to face some type of fear here um, that comes. It's like somebody here doesn't have self-esteem to like love themselves or they don't love themselves and they're not. They need to like, yeah, somebody here needs to just be brave in a situation and start loving themselves so that way you can get ideas with different i you know businesses or you know something maybe you really enjoy that you know maybe you're guided to do or you find what your what your niche is but it's like you you can't keep feeling stuck or somebody here feels stuck because Another person isn't depressed over something anymore. This is crazy. And they don't want it to be over. I keep, yeah. Someone here just keeps saying sorry, sorry, sorry. And they're not communicating with another person because, yeah, it's like justice is being served or because of a court situation, they're good. Somebody here invested in a bad yeah something really bad and they can't move on and they have really bad luck they don't want to be judged for it okay what else about work not gonna be able to move forward um they're blocked off because they're just too emotional or like they're thinking about a relationship that they need to like stop focusing on <clears throat> because yeah someone here too is like is trying to gain truth and clarity but it's like they're experiencing it, it Really, I feel like if somebody wants truth and clarity on a situation, they already know what they need to do or it's like they're they're already aware of what they need to do. You know, or you're aware of what you need to do. It's just a matter of doing it. Yeah, it's like, you know, when you're having a better attitude, it's like you can, it's like you're going to attract support from the universe. So it's like if you're not getting, you feel like you're not getting the support you need to support your dreams or whatever. It's like stop looking for it in other people. Um, and then you're now be making choices or it's like it's manifesting in your life in ways that is now affecting your pocket yeah energy flows where my intuition goes and it's blocked it's like your intuition is blocked because you're not at peace with yourself and you're not accepting situations you need to heal from um my outer experiences are a reflection of the internal condition okay so i'm really hoping and this is in reverse so it's like you know someone here is trying to hide 
the fact that they're going through something or that they're bothered or hurt by something after so many years five plus years maybe even 10 for some but i really do feel like this is crazy yeah your vibes speak louder than words so it's like you know regardless of whatever anybody wants to be in denial about or hide it's showing it's it's showing more than you think and yeah it says i am spirit having a human experience and i am here to get closer to love and it's like you know you're somebody that or possibly another person is like not understanding that they are having some type of an experience here where you're only supposed to be having relationships because of lessons not always for long seasons and it's like when you've learned those lessons which it seems like again earlier it was like somebody has learned a lesson and somebody hasn't someone's still hanging on to something but it's not another person's problem you could even be at a distance from a person like i said in the other video but it's like you're not moving closer to love it's like you're hating the fact that you have this experience or you don't want to have this experience anymore you're not choosing love um you know you're choosing hate you're choosing envy you're choosing um like you're mad because you're not getting your way or someone's mad because they're not getting their way um and it's like you have to recognize that that you have it says right here i recognize that i have chosen fear and i choose again and i choose love so it's like you know um yeah it's like but it's backwards so it's almost like you're choosing you want to choose love or what your perception of love is because you're afraid like you're hanging on to love and it's like you still keep hanging on to fear to like let it go um or to let something just fucking go and it's like you're it says i am unapologetic about what i desire and trust what trust that what i focus on will grow and it's in the reverse so it's like somebody here again i keep hearing i'm sorry i'm sorry somebody is sorry because of whatever it is that they do want it's like they don't trust okay how can i say this you're not going to be able to manifest shit or anything unless you're trusting the process so you need to trust that something's not for you because spirit has something better for you you need to trust that something was a lesson because it's the end of that cycle and now your intuition is only going to guide you on the right path that is for you whatever it is that you're asking for a love you're asking for someone to come in and like you know help you financially or even a business or you know a job that you love this starts with shadow work this starts with you focusing on what you want and really trusting your intuition because it's blocked like you're not trusting that you're going to end up where you want to be because you still are focused or somebody is focused still on that person and wanting to have what you want with a person that is not supposed to have that with you or you're not supposed to have it with that person you're supposed to be learning a lesson here and you're you don't need to be sorry about anything it's not going to change what you and that person's history is and nothing can be taken back so you have to be willing to trust that what you want is going to grow but you're gonna be you're not trusting and so now it's like you're manifesting shit backwards i hope that that makes sense um whatever you're focused on it's gonna grow so now that you're focused on fear now that you're focused on something not being let go of like you don't want to let go of something or someone doesn't want to let go of something now now it's like you're now manifesting everything that you're afraid of because you need to learn the lesson there and let it go and learn how to focus on other things other than the fears or the things that you don't want and, and focus on what you do want because the more that you're focusing on what you don't want and this and that you're going to manifest that i hope that that makes sense um i create a mindful i create mindful moments throughout the day reminding myself that i am love and miracles are natural so again this is about you flowing trusting okay um letting spirit be your guide look attack pain fear judgment and any form of separation are merely calls for help this is about you calling on help for the divine 
to intervene in a situation and not, you know, try to pray for someone to come back or whatever. Because the damage is already done. Hope is the can do it for miracles. Mm hmm. When I lean towards love, I am led. And it's like, you know, it's in reverse. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my world. I change my mind about the world I see. And that's also in reverse. So again, this is all about perception. This is also about you focusing on yourself and really like stop. If somebody is trying to manipulate shit to go in their favor, it's literally not. And someone sees you or another person or you're seeing somebody for who the fuck they are. And it's, yeah. Yeah it's just they can't unsee what they've already saw it cannot be undone it's like it's already there you move on or stay stuck that's the only options pretty much that i'm seeing here um as far as money goes um you know i understand that people have to pay their bills and you know whatever but whatever you were doing in the past it wasn't for you or it wasn't meant to last but whatever you need to do it's like god is going to give you the ideas that you need and you're going to have to learn um to also it's like honesty being honest with yourself understanding that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn okay This is also about, you know, like I said, being honest with yourself. And it's like the more healing you do, the more trust that you... Yeah, it's just there's a lot of lessons here that I feel like someone is really trying to avoid or take the shortcut. Um, but somebody's mindset needs to change. Um, and the reason why something failed was because lack of discipline and balance. There is no balance. And also someone here like judges other people way too much. And then they want peace. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> this is about you releasing negative energy. Having courage to move on. Having courage to leave and let, um, you know. <clears throat> I also feel like someone here too is like they're embarrassed or something. And it's like, you know, whoever you're working with in the past is like, these are people that are only going to betray you or they were, you were betraying these people or, you know, it's like some form of like disloyalty and dishonesty. And just if, if people are able, you're able to deceive people and people are able to deceive other people, it's like, they're not to be trusted. Um, you know, what makes, I, I don't, you know, people trust people that, yeah. Anyways, I hope that this does help. But someone here does not want to get out of someone's energy. <laughs> That's why this reading is so fucking long. And someone here too is like they feel they thought they were powerful when they were like attacking another person. And now it's like things are happening and they end up losing money. And another person was like, you know what, I'm, I'm gone. Um, yeah, someone was just stuck and they're depressed. So anyways, get out of that shit. <laughs>